Claire and David's home situation was very normal until Claire gave birth to a beautiful daughter. Ever since that moment, strange things started happening. Little Rosie kept touching her belly and it just kept growing. Claire immediately called the doctor and they had to get to the hospital immediately. The doctor knew he had seen this before. How he will break this news to poor Claire? The doctor told Claire and David that they had no time to lose. They had to rush to the hospital and this could be very dangerous. The doctor had a feeling of what was going on, but he had to confirm his suspicions. Dave grabbed their little angel and rushed to the car. When finally arriving at the hospital, the couple was set down by the doctor's assistant. She told them that the doctor would come as quickly as she could. David was growing even more worried. He had no time to wait. He demanded to see the doctor. Claire tried to calm David down, but he was convinced that he had the right to demand the doctor to come. He walked right past the assistant inside of the doctor's office, and the doctor was still treating another patient and looked really confused. The doctor called Claire and David inside his office. He asked some basic questions about their lives. He needed to determine what was going on. Then Claire told him about her lifestyle and the doctor's attitude completely changed. What have you done? It was like the doctor blamed Claire for everything. She had no idea what was going on or what she did wrong. When carrying the crying newborn baby to the test department, the doctor could not help but think. At the moment that he took the baby away from her parents, she kept crying. It was like the baby was in pain. The doctor had called for backup. He kept on trusting in his own ability to help his child, but he definitely needed help. When putting up the baby down, it finally stops crying a bit and the doctors get a chance to inspect him a bit closer. The doctor asked Claire if she had noticed anything during the pregnancy. This is when Claire started crying. She thought that there was something seriously wrong with the baby and that it was her fault. That is when she started explaining. Claire had stumbled out of her bed on Tuesday morning. Her head hurt and her stomach felt even worse. She could feel the pressure build in her throat as she ran to the bathroom to throw up. Claire hated the feeling, but it was familiar to her. She got like that when she was hungover. However, ironically, she had not been drinking the night before. Claire spent another 15 minutes in the bathroom until she eventually felt fine enough to head downstairs for breakfast. Claire was immediately greeted by her mother, commenting on how pale she looked. Claire sighed and relayed her symptoms to her mom, who listened to her intently. Claire watched as her mother turned white as she listened to the symptoms. What's wrong? Claire urged. She felt self-conscious now. Her mom was a registered nurse and had been in the profession for more than two decades. Her reaction to Claire's symptoms caused the young woman to worry. Finally, her mom spoke up. She asked Claire to get a pregnancy test done. Claire was nervous and peed on the test like her mother instructed. The results were frightening. Claire's mom was right. She was pregnant. Claire sat opposite her parents, who stared at her in silence. They were both waiting for her to answer the question they had placed. Who was the father? The problem? Claire wasn't so sure. Claire sighed. She explained that if her math was correct, there were two possible fathers. But she wasn't certain. She wanted to tell them about the possibility of a baby. It all seemed far too much for her to cope with. She couldn't stand to think of what their reaction would be. Claire was in a state of panic. It had been a few days since she had discovered she was pregnant. Although her parents had been trying to discuss it with her, she couldn't help but feel weary. She found herself debating getting an abortion. She knew she wasn't ready for kids or to change her lifestyle. What would she do now? After a few days of avoiding them, Claire decided it was time to face her parents. She told them that she was planning to get an abortion. However, her parents were against this. They convinced her to keep the baby as they would do everything to keep her raise it. Although she had agreed not to abort the baby, settling into being parent was proving far more difficult than she could imagine. For one, it was the opposite of her current lifestyle. Part of being pregnant is giving up certain things which can be bad for the baby. Things like drinking and hard partying. Things that Claire enjoyed so much. Those habits were a bit more addictive than Claire had realized. So addictive that she found herself sneaking out late to indulge in them. Claire was still in the early stages of her pregnancy and wasn't showing yet. This made it easy for her to get into clubs without judgment. However, the moment of truth was coming. Claire confessed everything to her doctor. She admitted that although she was trying to stay healthy for the baby, she felt almost compelled to go out and party at night. Claire and the doctor had a long, serious talk about the risk and potential consequences for the baby, and the end of it, it finally seemed to click for Claire. 
Claire knew that along with this new leaf, she would have to come clean to those the pregnancy most closely affected, the prospective fathers Todd and David. Claire made the decision to inform both the men of the pregnancy and the situation surrounding it. Claire spent the rest of her pregnancy doing her best to stay healthy. One afternoon, Claire is laying on the couch watching a series when she suddenly feels a stinging pain in her stomach and she moans loudly in pain. Her mother rushes in and immediately knows what was happening. Claire's water broke. Claire's mom held her as they both made their way to the car. She supported her daughter into the back seat and quickly started to drive to the hospital. On the way, Claire decided to call the prospective fathers of the baby. Both men insisted that they be part of the moment. Does Claire agree? All the worries in her mind seemed to vanish as the contractions grew closer and the pain seemed to almost double in intensity. Claire gained a sudden realization it was time to focus on the baby. The next time the door opened, it was a doctor who had arrived to prepare Claire for the delivery. A few minutes later, David, the second prospective father, showed up. Like Todd, David was a tall, muscular, and handsome man, but he was dressed more casually as he had come from home. However, this time the room felt silent on his arrival. The room stayed silent for a second. No one seemed to know what to say. When the silence finally broke, it came from an unexpected person. The doctor spoke in surprise. What are you doing here, David? The sound of a familiar voice caused David to look up. He could not believe his eyes. The doctor and David stared at each other for a moment before awkwardly explaining the situation. As it turned out, the head doctor was David's uncle. David was aware his uncle worked at the hospital, but had been too shocked by the news to consider the possibility that they would run into each other. The hospital staff hit a confusing block when they were screening the guests that would be permitted in the room. Claire had been so hyper-focused on getting her life ready, she hadn't had the chance to explain the situation to the staff. The doctor nodded and listened silently. It was clear he was disappointed in David, but he said nothing. He had other priorities. The baby was on the way. Luckily, the birthing only took about 30 minutes, and soon the first cries of the baby could be heard. It was a beautiful baby girl, and Claire could finally breathe a sigh of relief as she watched her daughter smile in her arms. However, this didn't last long as real worries began to set in. The truth was, Claire had become even more worried than she had been initially. Having a daughter was hard work, and she was uncertain she was cut out for it. Even as old dad settled in, the doctors told the baby to run some tests to ensure the baby was entirely healthy. Todd and David got talking. After beating around the subject for a while, they finally started speculating on the child's paternity. Both men had come up with their own theories as to who the father was. Claire listened to David and Todd argued for a few minutes. It was clear that both of them were excited about the birth of the baby and even more so, wanted the baby to be theirs. For the second time in months, both men had surprised Claire wasn't expecting this reaction. Claire's mind had faded deep into her thoughts when the door finally swung open once more. Her mother stood up from her position on the couch. Both prospective fathers stopped arguing to pay attention. The doctor smiled. He had some good news to share with everyone. The baby was in perfect health. Or was it? Claire was elated. She brought the baby home with her to wait on the DNA test that was being done. David accompanied her home. That is when it started happening. Every day the belly of the child started growing. She kept touching her belly like something was wrong. They had to get to the hospital. The baby was placed in the nearby crib to rest. The doctor was afraid that Claire's lifestyle had indeed affected the baby. When inspecting the belly, he noticed something. The newborn revealed something that had the doctors reacting quickly. The doctor was shocked and a little embarrassed. He had not noticed this before. He had solved two mysteries in the span of just a couple of seconds. He realized who the father is, and he knows why the belly kept growing. Right there on her belly was a large birthmark. While the presence of a birthmark may not be alarming, and is certainly not a sign of a birth defect, in fact, almost all babies had a few birthmarks across their skin. David had almost the exact same birthmark in the exact same spot. And with birthmarks having a chance to be hereditary, it was looking like David was the father. However, the doctor stayed silent. It was just a hunch and he preferred to wait for the results. The DNA was out, but the results were not a surprise to anyone. David was the father. In the coming days, both Claire and David had already realized the baby was theirs. He had equally spotted the birthmark on the baby, and the conception dates were better aligned with him. The doctor told them as well as the belly kept growing because the baby was allergic to the milk they gave her, which Claire immediately changed. 
both David and Claire were happy to receive the news. Not only had their suspicions been confirmed, but they were finding life as parents suited for them far better than they would have ever imagined. A few months later, after the birth of the baby, David and Claire started dating and still care for their little girl, Rosie. 